Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about a very serious subject, and that subject is putting together the ultimate fighting rifle based upon not cost nor weight, but the absolute best components money can buy to bring together, again, that ultimate fighting rifle. Now, I want to preface this video with a warning. A lot of you guys will go out there and cite YouTubers like Garantham and what they'll tell you to buy or how to use your weapon. I just want you guys to know that Garantham is not a real person. Garantham is actually a nerdy kid living in his mom's basement in New Jersey. The caricature you see on YouTube is actually a CGI, and that CGI is being rendered by the next generation PS5, PlayStation, and next generation Xbox. So what you're seeing is actually a video game. And so what we're going to show you today is something that the caricature we know as Garantham might tear apart and say is impractical. But the weapon we're going to show you has been seen in the hands of special operations around the world. All right, so let's take a deep dive into the weapon system you see sitting here. And we will go over each of these very critical components that bring together this 28 pound magnificent weapon we call the rifle. This is the rifle, and probably the signature piece of the rifle that makes it so incredibly functional is this Trigicon Reflex Red Dot Sight. It's called the MGRS, and it is actually a military weapon sight. Uh, the M2, you'll see right here on the end, means Model 2. It, don't confuse that with Modus or M2 Browning. That is actually just Model 2. This is the second version of the rifle sight that you see here meant for this particular weapons platform. Now, I can dial it from 300 meters all the way out to 2,000 meters, something that is incredible. Now, you might go back and see and talk about a video that Iraq veteran put together many years ago. It was a zombie apocalypse nonsensical video about a gun that had all sorts of commercial grade garbage on it, and he only could fire it from his hip. He didn't fire it from the bipod position, the prone position, or even from the standing position from the shoulder because it was an impractical joke. He pulled one over on you guys. This is actually similar to that in concept, but actually built with quality components, again, that are being used worldwide on the war on terror. So this is the pinnacle piece. It is a reflex sight. So you have a laser emitter back here that is projecting the dot onto the lens that we have out here. It's very simple and very elegant in design. It's quite similar to what you would see on a handgun known as the RMR. This is an upsized RMR intended for the rifle. Now, it also has mounting points all around it, so you can put force multipliers on it, like this red dot sight that we have set up for night vision. And you'll say, well, why is that set up for night vision? Well, because when you have nods on, you can't put your face down against the rifle. You have to shoot like this. And when I'm in this position, I can see clearly through that red dot sight. And that's how I would use my red dot sight with nods. Over here, we have... Uh, an infrared laser and a daylight laser. And again, that would be used with nods at night with the rifle. Up front, we have the cloud light. This, this is a pressure switch light. It is extremely robust. You can drive over tank or drive tanks over this thing. It is incredibly durable and it's by cloud defense. And then over here on the other side, we have another DI optical red dot sight, which is a backup to the main sight should it go down and for CQB applications. So you can actually fire the rifle from this position. Now the DI optical red dot sights that we're using are no longer available on the market because the special forces community, when they found out about these and tested them, they snatched them all up and you can't find them anymore anywhere, even online. So enough talking about the rifle for the moment. We have a grip pod here with a bipod in it. And with its 60 round drum, again, this whole system weighs a very modest 28 pounds. And if you're going to complain about that, you just need to do some push ups. All right, well, we're going to start off firing the rifle with a 30 round magazine. We have some Federal 223 in here. And we want to thank our friends at Federal for supplying the ammunition to the channel free of charge. It helps us 
tremendously. Now we're gonna start off shooting from 100 to 150 all the way out to 200 yards using the red dot sight, the primary weapon sight. And it's very easy to look through with both eyes open and projects a very crisp dot and it would work great for astigmatism. I'm center punching that challenge target. Notice the lack of recoil. Let's walk it out. All solid hits. That's what I'm talking about. What an incredible weapon. Man, I love shooting this thing. It's like a pussycat with that 28 pound weight. Another amazing feature about this Trigicon Red Dot sight you probably don't know about, you'll notice it has that really large screen. That's because it's a touch screen. It features touch screen technology. So if there's something downrange you wanna put a bullet hole in, you just take a look at that large screen, touch that target, and you can enjoy a beverage while your rifle does the rest of the work for you. Yep. There we go, one more time. Oh, it's moved. All right, there he is right there. We've chosen the H&K MR556A1, not because it's lightweight or affordable, we've chosen it because it's absolutely the best platform for the rifle that we could come up with. And why is that? Well, it's piston driven as you already know, but it's really interesting how HK designed this weapon so you cannot get caught with your pants down trying to clean your weapon in the middle of a fight. There's no way to get the pins out of the rifle without using your tool. Your tool that you keep in your butt stock, which is right here. So you can twist the butt stock cap off, remove your tool, and then you can push your pins out. How ingenious is this? Never again will you be caught with your weapon Ugh. in this condition when the enemy comes up on you. This is a bad position to be in and we've seen it happen many, many times. So the rifle requires the tool. We've discussed all the various tools on the rifle, but the real tool is the operator. Guys, you've heard of Delta Force. Delta Force is actually a fourth tier operations group. Duh, there is another group called Alpha Force you've not heard of. Now, this is probably the first you'll ever hear of Alpha Force, and I'm probably going to get disappeared for bringing it up. But this is a weapon system developed by Alpha Force, which is a tier one, true tier one organization, not the fourth tier operators in Delta that you see movies made about that Chuck Norris starred in. This is the ultimate in Alpha Force operations. There isn't a role that the rifle can't fill. It can do night operations, IR laser and set up for nods. It can do day operations, obviously, and we're using it in the daylight right now. It can do sniping. The site is capable of being used out to 2,000 meters simply by turning a knob on the rear of the sight. It can perform the role of a light machine gun, and it can even be used in CQB operations by simply turning it and using your smaller red dot sight, which is also a backup should the main sight go down. It's just incredible how efficiently the rifle handles all of these roles. Now we're going to show you how the rifle performs in the light machine gun roll. This is where you use the Magpul D60 drum. You insert it into the rifle, charge the weapon, assume the position, and let them have it. What soldier wouldn't want this incredibly devastating machine. This advanced Trigicon optic on the rifle is capable of aimed fire out to 2,000 meters, which some of you may think is a stretch, but it's not. Also, you'll notice the absence of a silencer on this weapon. 
If you go back and watch a Warrior Poet video, he addressed that issue as, as viewed by Special Operations. Now, Delta Force is fourth tier. He was a Ranger. That's fifth or sixth tier, something like that. But that's not the point. The point is, is that he was talking about how you shouldn't use silencers for self-defense. Or maybe he was talking about home defense. I don't know which, but anyway, that's why this weapon is not suppressed. So what we're going to do for you guys here really quick is demonstrate the incredible accuracy of the rifle. I have it dialed up to 2,000 meters and it's accomplished by simply turning a big knob on the back of the rifle. And then you take careful aim. And in about eight seconds, we should hear the round hit if I did my job right. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it was, guys. A perfect hit at 2,000 meters. Let's try one more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. There it was, another perfect hit at 2,000 meters. Is there anything this rifle can't do effectively? I don't think so. Now, as we've previously stated in the video, these parts can be almost impossible, if not impossible, to source. So it's not like you can just go over to coppercustom.com and pick up the rifle. So guys, we had to pull a lot of strings to get access to this rifle, and we hope you enjoyed taking a look at my tool here as much as I've enjoyed showing you my tool. And um, yeah, if you would like to support us so we can continue to bring you information like this that you're not gonna find elsewhere on the internet, please consider becoming part of our Patreon family. There's a link in the video description below. You can click that link and join our Patreon family. Also, right here on YouTube, there's a little join button right underneath the video player. Give that a click and support us right here on YouTube. All right, guys, thanks for 12 years of support. We'll talk to you soon. What an amazing tool.